What's going on everybody? Welcome to Spang's World. Uh, after our last Michigan trip here, uh, we landed stuff. Uh, we had the stock JL with us and then we had our Rubicon. Uh, also my wife was driving and stuff and she's fairly new and everything and uh, I was thinking, you know, it'd probably be good to do a beginner's guide to off-roading and stuff. So this will be episode one of the series. Uh, we're just gonna go over some basic stuff to carry with you. Uh, first time off-roading or if you're new, maybe you bought a used uh, Jeep Wrangler, or other vehicle, four, four wheel drive vehicle, uh, or you bought a brand new stock vehicle and you're looking to hit some trails and stuff, you decided not to just hit the mall or grocery store or your daily driver and stuff. Uh, Go out there on some trails and go explore finally. So we're gonna go over five things I think that you should have in your vehicle. Well, let's get into item number one. All right. First item up here is your recovery gear. Uh, you should definitely have at least one 20 foot strap in there. This is a two inch. Uh, you can buy these, uh, basically, I think most auto parts stores carry these and then uh, around here are the farm stores and stuff that carry it. Uh, super cheap. I only have one right now. I think I broke the other one. Uh, or it got mixed up with somebody else's gear maybe or it's just laying around somewhere else. But anyways, uh, recommend having two of these. They're only like 10 to $20 a piece depending on where you get them from. Uh, if you get a more reputed brand than the farm stores, you're looking at about 25 to $30. So really not that bad. Um, next things with your recovery gears, hard shackles or soft shackles. There are some do's and don'ts. Can't always use these in every situation and stuff. I'll show you in a second. Versus these you can, but these are a lot safer and stuff. So if they break or whatever, uh, it's a lot it's a lot safer. But uh, we'll show you one instance here. All right, if you got D-ring slots in your bumper, you do not want to use the soft shackles in this. These edges will cut them. And there's multiple videos of people uh, getting hurt on using it and stuff. Easy to do, pull your pin out of your shackle, go to your strap, straight to your D-ring. There you got a good pull point right there. Obviously I do have a winch and stuff. It did come with it, uh, but it's not really the best winch I got, or it's not really the best winch, but it works. Second thing on the list here to have, it'd be a tire repair kit. Uh, we got plugs and stuff right here. You're most likely gonna put a hole in a tire and stuff when you're going off road, versus doing anything else or breaking anything else, I mean. Uh, I got some rubber cement. This comes with a lot of the kits and stuff, and I also have a bigger one. Uh, I'd put a pretty good big gash in my tire. Uh, your tire punch, tire plug puller. Got a couple of uh, standard valve scores here, uh, just in case I lose one or break one. Uh, that's a puller there that comes with it. Uh, you got your tire plugs. Or you got your reamer and your tire plug uh, insert and rubber cement to put on there. But. <clears throat> Well, we're off, we've got plugs in here in the sidewall and stuff. You're most likely gonna put a hole in your tire than anything else and stuff on most trails uh, until you start getting more hardcore on harder trails and stuff than you might. Then you would probably start damaging other things and stuff, but your tires are number one and you need your tires to get off the trail. Right. Communicating with your group is essential. Uh, it's way better than having to stop every so often and stuff and then uh, discuss where you're going next and stuff, or you could just jump on a radio if it's just a two-way, simple two-way radio, or if it's one of these uh, dual band radios. We got a uh, rugged radios here and then the biofang. Essentially the same type of radio and stuff, uh, same channels and everything that you can program in there. Uh, rugged radio is a little bit nicer and stuff, especially if you're racing or stuff, but then you probably know more about off-road than that. <laughs> but uh, you can jump from channel to channels. But what we have, also, we got this pack, it's like 20 bucks for these Cobra radios. Uh, just everyone be on the same channel and stuff and you can easily talk to each other. 
Um, makes it way simpler than having to stop every so often or guessing where the person's going. If you get separated, you can just easily jump on there real quick, especially if you don't have cell phone reception and figure out where the other person's at. Fourth thing on the list is uh, tools. This will change depending on your mechanical skills and type of vehicle you have and stuff. And then, but at minimum, you should be able to change the tire and stuff because that's what most likely is going to happen to you, especially if you're just doing some basic off-roading. It's just a tire. You need the basic wrenches and stuff, screwdrivers, stuff like that. Working on your suspension and stuff. So if you look down there, you got loose bolts and stuff. You can easily tighten them up before it becoming a problem and stuff. This is what I carry for my basic setup. If I, uh, this is the tool roll. This is the tool roll, <laughs> but it keeps everything in here. Got our standard wrenches in here. Got sockets in here. Got our metric uh, wrenches in here. Our tire plugs and stuff usually go in here also, but I took them out for the video. Got a couple zip ties and stuff, and then uh, got some screwdrivers in here and some bigger sockets. Yeah. That way you can work on, you can do basic maintenance and stuff on the trail and stuff. Hopefully nothing major breaks on you, but if you do happen to glance down there and you see a loose bolt, you can easily tighten it up versus hoping that you get back on that loose bolt and it doesn't come out on you. Last but not least uh, would be a fire extinguisher. I actually have two and stuff. One, this one mounts up to the roll cage. This, that's what that is on the bottom there. It'll mount right up there. And this one I'll usually set somewhere between the seats and stuff. And then that way I can easily grab it and stuff. Hopefully you'll never have to use it, but it's a great item to have. Um, hate to be the one who causes a fi forest fire and stuff uh, out there. Uh, some places you get quite a bit of trouble and stuff if they find out that it was caused by you and your neglect, I guess. But uh, also you could add with the safety is a first aid kit and stuff. I don't have one right here with me. I have a little old army smack kit. I really need to upgrade to what I have for it. Uh, just in case one of the kids stuff gets scraped or bumped or bruised or whatever. Um, out on the trails, you can easily clean it up and stuff and get them, get them fixed up. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, hopefully it was helpful and stuff to you. Hit that thumbs up if it was. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. Leave a comment down below if you think there's something more important than these five items that I've listed on here. Of course, this, the list of tools and stuff that you could use on the trail is endless. Stuff so that really depends on what you're doing and where you're going. Uh, it's gonna change here to there. If you're going to an off-road park or if you're going out on like the Rubicon or something, you're also obviously probably gonna have something different. All right, uh, we'll have video two out here soon. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.